It's only about a week ago that I decided I was going to eat 13 cakes to celebrate 13k. And you know what? I thought it would be really difficult. But in fact, I think last night I reached 17 cakes. I'm not normally a cakes person, she says. After which she goes and smashes 20 cakes to zero over the course of what, like two weeks, three, less than four. And I get that this may seem like a really silly video topic. I really do. But the point isn't just that I can now eat cakes. A lot of cakes. The thing is, I reached 13k subscribers. I am so incredibly grateful for that. And I wanted to celebrate that. And with celebrating comes eating cakes. And it's okay to celebrate with cake. Lots of cake. And the world won't suddenly explode. My health won't suddenly go down a drain. I won't suddenly gain lots and lots of weight. After all of these cakes, I'm still me. So yeah, when I started this challenge, I was a bit worried because off the top of my head, I couldn't even think of 13 different cakes. And that's when I realized they don't necessarily need to be different cakes. So here's what I've had so far. I have had a brownie. I have had a berry cheesecake. I have had a tiramisu. I've had a cinnamon roll, I don't know if that counts. Um, I've had another brownie. I have had matcha cake. I have had passion fruit cake. And then I have had a chocolate donut. I then had about seven. Yeah, so how much is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus seven, 16. Oof. Yeah, I then had about seven banana breads at this local bakery and once again i don't know if that counts it's banana bread it's not technically cake but you know it's flour butter sugar it's everything you put in a cake and it looks like a slice of cake and especially their slices which are good fat slices technicalities aside i would love for you to face these foods your fear foods and i'm here to do it with you that's what this video is all about. During my recovery, I ate cake, I ate chocolate pudding, I ate ice cream, I ate bread every single day. And it's by doing this, by challenging myself, that I overcame these fears. So join me and face your fear foods. And through that experience, notice that the anxiety will initially rise, but over time it will flatten out. And you'll find that these foods, you enjoy them. You can have them when you're out spontaneously with friends without worrying, without feeling guilty, without feeling ashamed. You will notice that you can beat the eating disorder. You'll also notice that rather than harm you in some way or other, these foods actually help you mentally and physically. They energize you, allow you to concentrate on your work, allow you to live the life you want to live, Honestly, give it a go. So you know how people say that when you eat too much sugar, you get really like sluggish? Yeah, I don't think so. I've been having energy for days, absolute days. And you know why? That's because carbohydrates, sugar, it's your body's preferred energy source. Let me know your favorite cake in the comments below. And guess what mine is? It is by facing these foods, by having sugar every day, butter every day, the foods you enjoy, the foods that maybe you fear right now, every single day, that it gets easier and that you find out that, you know, I don't think I look any different than I did a week and a half ago. That number going from 12k to 13k and the number of cakes I've had in the meantime hasn't changed a thing about me. I think that's a deep and meaningful insight. If it wasn't for this challenge, I don't think I would have even counted the number of cakes I had. And you know what? It wouldn't have changed my behaviour either. I would have had those 20 cakes. You bet. Did it change anything about my appearance? I doubt it. 
stepping outside your comfort zone, fear exposure, pushing through, beating the hell out of the eating disorder. Keep going. Keep having those cakes. See you next week for another video.